In this video we'll make this gradient text effect the exact same effect that Apple uses throughout their website. So we're going to have to give our text a class so that we can apply style to it without affecting all the other text throughout the site. That means we'll have to use a code block for our text, so we'll drop a code block into the page. And then completely optional this one, I'm going to center the text with some center tags. And then between the tags we'll stick a couple of H1 tags. I'm just using H1 because it's the biggest font on the site so we can see the gradient properly but you can use H2, H3 or whatever. Next we need to give this a class so in the opening bracket after the one we'll make a space and then to give this a class we'll go class equals quotation mark and let's call this gradient text so gradient hyphen text and then another quotation mark and then we can stick our text between these brackets. And just a quick pointer, because we're working in a code block and I want my text over two lines, we have to put line breaks in manually with the line break element. And we do that with the left angle bracket, BR, and a right angle bracket. We don't actually need this second one that Squarespace has put in, so we can get rid of that. And then carry on with our text. And we're done in the code block, so we'll save this. And head over to the CSS editor. And then in here we'll put our selector, so dot gradient hyphen text and a couple of curly brackets. Now to grab the gradient, and for this I'm using a CSS gradient color generator called cssgradient.io, link in the description. And this is basically going to write the CSS for us based on what we do with these colors and sliders. I'm not going to go into too much detail of all this because it's all pretty self-explanatory, but have a mess around with it and get the gradient you want, and then when you're done, come down to the CSS generator. And make sure this max compatibility button is checked and copy. Then back in Squarespace we'll paste this between the curly brackets and that'll give us this big slab of colour behind the text so to fix this and clip the colour to the text we'll come back to the CSS editor and on a new line we'll go background hyphen clip colon text and we'll close this line off with a semicolon. I'm going to take a copy of this and then on a new line we'll go hyphen webkit hyphen and paste in what we've just copied. And the last thing, the thing that actually makes it all work, on a new line we'll put the text fill colour property, so hyphen webkit, hyphen text, loads of hyphens, hyphen fill, hyphen colour, and give it a value of transparent. And that's how to make a gradient background text effect, so thank you ever so much for watching, hope you found this video useful, if you did leave us a thumbs up below, if you're not already consider subscribing, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya.